Good morning. It, it is a good morning. I've just had a plethora of problems I've had to solve and it's literally 20 past nine in the morning. But I'm in one of those phases in life and with anything, problems come. It's just about, you know, finding solutions. But today's a very exciting day. I'm heading down to London to see the house and the cleaners are there today doing the post reno clean, which is so exciting. I have to get the rest of my bedroom tidied up, the rest of my clothes away for the week. And I also have to head into Central this afternoon and shoot something. So it's going to be a very fun, fill day but my first task is to clear everything out of this bedroom clear everything out of my bathroom and I want to leave some like, notes for my family because it was my last night last night and like Sophie and I've shared a bathroom for the past three years and I want to leave like a little note in there for her for when she opens the cupboard and things like that I still have powder on my face because I'm baking but I thought I would let you know about today's giveaway so I'm vlogging every day this week and in every vlog there is a giveaway there's been some really good ones go and look at the last vlogs to see if you want to enter those ones but today I'm giving away a £100 TK Maxx and HomeSense gift card oh my goodness you can get so much good stuff in HomeSense and TK Maxx for £100 you could get a wreath for fall you could get some of the food bits or maybe you want some clothes from TK Maxx maybe a new autumn winter coat so if you would like to enter to win the £100 gift card all of the entry requirements will be on the screen I will also link them in the description box down below and good luck every day there's something different so one of them was an Amazon gift card I've done a the white company gift card so I will link all my previous vlogs this week down below so you can go and have a little nosy but yeah I hope that excites you I think that's a cool one I mean I think they're all cool or, or I wouldn't have done them a lot of the things are just things that I love so this is my bathroom I washed my makeup brushes this morning and I need to clear everything off this kind of trolley shelf thing I'm gonna take this with me for now and yeah I need to sort through those I also need to sort through the things that are in this cupboard I mean there's not very much this is my side and then Sophie's side looks a lot more organized gosh can you see that the girl is just an organization queen but yes this is our new bathroom um it's very lovely but i need to maybe i'll start with everything off that shelf and that's probably the easiest thing then i can take the shelf downstairs put it in the living room ready for the movers i do need to get rid of this powder don't i it's very distracting but most of these things are coming in my car with me so I need to load those in as well and strip the bed and all that jazz I mean honestly there is quite a bit to do so I just got off the phone with my architect he's at the house he's going to make sure everything's okay with the things that need finishing up the cleaners everything like that he said the cleaners are doing a great job they're really nice and they're very on it which is good honestly I don't know what I would have done throughout this whole thing without my architect Alan he's wonderful it also made me laugh in my kitchen reveal that so many of you thought that I was secretly dating Alan he also found that really funny um <laughs> Alan is married and not to me. So yeah, it's, um, I'm very grateful that he's at the house right now sorting that. So my POA is get all my things away in my suitcases that I personally need for the next little while. And then I'm going to clear everything else out. It's that situation where I need to get like a bin bag out and just be being like, you know, like I've got a random lip liner sharpenings because I don't have a bin in here anymore. So I need somewhere to put those. And then I'm going to start loading the car. And, and on the way to London, I want to pop to B&M because there are definitely bits and bobs that I need for moving moving day and I don't know if I'll have a chance before then because I I have so much to do I yeah yeah busy week busy week <laughs> sorted anything that was old is in here and then the rest are in this box that was honestly way more straightforward than I initially assumed the room is empty pretty much besides my tablet on the bed that I oh no I want to take my tablet today but I don't have a um a case but this is, this is so weird. Gosh, it feels like we didn't do this too long ago. Oh, <laughs> Falling at mum's heart. No, it's really sad. The amount of hair on my floor is honestly obscene and I vacuum like every two days, don't I? Yeah. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the room. It's empty. It's very surreal, but I'm happy it's done. No. Oh. You might be. No, oh, don't. Don't. It doesn't get easier. I know it doesn't, but how happy am I going to be? And you're going to have so much space. Well, I'm really happy because this is what you want. This is what you've worked towards. But for a mum... I know, I know. Oh, don't cry. I love you so much. I'm so grateful you've had me for so long. Oh, I love you too. Even though it was only a month. A month? That turned into three years. Three long years. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> She's actually really excited internally. I'm really excited for you. I am. Just this bit's not nice. It's not nice. Wow, this is weird. Does it sound empty and echoey? 
I don't know. <laughs> I've just had an update from my architect. He, yet again, said the cleaners are doing a great job. They've just moved my, not cleaners, <laughs> my architect, my builder, just moved my washer dryer into place, which is really exciting. But it took me quite a while to source the cleaners that I wanted to use because obviously I've had a reno, but it's also like a move-in clean. So I found a company called Housekeep and they basically helped me custom the whole clean. I just said to them, I was like, I've had a renovation. This is the property. This is the, you know, the state it's in. What do you recommend? and they were able to completely custom the clean that I'm having today. So obviously you will have seen how the house was, the state that it was in. I mean, I'll show you later some before clips, but I am really confident that this by this evening it's gonna be like absolutely spotless and not just surface level, it's going to be, you know, like dust free and everything as well. They were scheduled to come between eight and nine this morning and they turned up at literally 8 a.m. completely on time. All the cleans are vetted, which again was just so important to me. And as a company, they have over 500,000 reviews so you know it's just helpful for peace of mind and especially when you're booking a service like this that is so important like I don't really have time for things to go <laughs> wrong right now because I you know I have movers coming and I don't want movers to be moving things into a dirty house so it was so important to me that I took the time to find the right people to do this so I'm excited I'm gonna leave them to it and not go into the house until they're done so you know, I don't want to be that guy to get in the way you know but we have to go into central get a ton of stuff done but yeah this is uh me out of this bedroom which I am very relieved about. It's This isn't even, like, I'm not even emotional to leave, to be honest. I'm emotional to leave my parents and my sister, but I'm not emotional to leave this room because I'm just so completely ready. And I've done it a few times before. I feel like when you do something for the first time, you really feel it, but every time after that, you feel it a little less. And I think this is probably the third or fourth time I've moved out of this room, so she feels normal now. <laughs> Okay, first stop of the day is B&M, although I have forgotten my stuffed dates, so I have to go back. I, they're for my friend whose house I'm staying at, my best friend Em, and although yes, I can turn up at her house at any time of day empty-handed, she's been poorly, and I love her, and I want her to feel valued, and she's helping me move on Friday, and she's just my best friend, and I made them for her, so there's probably about 20 reasons why I need to go back and get them. Those are a few, <laughs> but let's go to B&M first, then we'll go back. So we needed some scissors, otherwise I'm not going to be able to open the boxes, and also some masks tape because what I'm gonna do is write the names of the rooms on a piece of paper and then stick it to the doors so the movers know which room the gym is which room the dressing room is because otherwise I just feel like it's super confusing because there's a lot of rooms and I just want to make things as straightforward as possible and that felt like a good solution guys I've just taken my shoes off for the first time oh my goodness it is absolutely spotless I mean except that we're not gonna look at that oh my gosh I can't believe I'm walking in socks in my house Oh my gosh, it feels amazing! I feel like you haven't been here for ages. Let's do do still with like little bits and bobs. Um, let's have a walk around then and have a look at the cleaning. It feels immaculate in here, which is honestly so nice. I feel like every time I've been previously, it's just felt like a building site, and now it feels like a house. No, so I'm gonna do sofa, snug area, TV on this wall. This is all like a lounge, yeah. Basically. Yeah, and then like eventually I think I'll do a dining table when I have like five kids, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you have the island, right? Yeah, but I could even put a small round table here. I mean, honestly, I feel like when you have an island, you don't really need a dining table. No, I think for now I'm fine. I'm outside for when I'm like the weather. True. I'm gonna do, yeah, big comfy sofa, the Bluebell sofa.com one that I have. Yes. Big TV, frame TV, and then I don't know what color, like, bezel I'm gonna do, but something maybe, maybe the gold. Mine's white, gold would be nice. I think gold would be really sweet. But yeah, let's go and have a little look around. I mean, the kitchen oh, yeah, looks spotless. So what I've had is a mix of a post reno and a move-in clean. So I needed all of my appliances cleaning. I mean, I was able to do all of this. Like I said, I spoke to them, but I was able to tailor it on my account. So yeah, I got like a bit, a bit, a bit of a combination, which is good. So I want to have a look at my appliances because they've all been cleaned. Housekeep have also very kindly given me a discount code to share with you guys. So I'll pop it on the screen right now and in the description box. I'll pop a link to the website as well so you can have a look. But they service literally the whole of London. But I'll put all of the info that I have down below. And yeah, my, like I said earlier, my architect said the cleaners were really really lovely also um all the cleaners are vetted see that's really good. isn't that so important completely oh that's so good I and mean, it makes the difference what's in your freaking home oh my gosh your fridge is actually insane this has been disgusting until today 
today. <laughs> I am a big American Thanksgiving my next house. How exciting! It's so exciting. I think that I still remember the day when we went and picked that up. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Oh my gosh. I, I look back at that and I'm like, I can't believe we went so to the bank. I have finally seen this in place and we love. I know, isn't this so cool? I've got my drinks fridge, that was also from the and house. You know, the mixed metals really work. It does, doesn't it? Because yeah. I think because they're a bit industrial with the brass, it it's not too silvery, it's not cold. No, no, it's more um Oh, you have to do this is one of your doggy sink. So this is my juice bar. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then the other one's my main kitchen sink, which is just quite nice. I mean, I'm always doing something, like food-wise, cooking-wise, so it'd be nice to have, you know, an area. I might even put my coffee machine. I need to decide where to put things. I think I'm going to put the coffee machine over there. It's just kind of hit me that my house is clean and ready to go. If I wanted to sleep here tonight, I could. Isn't that mad? I can't believe it. Okay, right. Let's go and have a little look around. So my washer and dryer in place. Oh, my face virus. <laughs> Alan put them in. So this is the pink room and it looks absolutely immaculate. I love that you guys can actually see the flooring now. Doesn't it look so good? I mean, it's spotless as well. I really can't even explain to you. There was literal dust everywhere. Oh, you haven't seen the pink room. I don't love it. Guys, I'm ill. Yeah, I'm hiding and sound like this, but this is insane. You don't love it? No, I don't love them together, but I love the colours individually. But I am going to wallpaper it eventually. You're going to wallpaper the doors or the room? No, the room, but keep oh, the dark pink. I, I love this pink. I know. Oh my god, it's insane. I think one of them needed to be like lighter. I love the pink room. It's fun though, isn't it? So the rooms that aren't done yet are the main bathroom and the drawing room. So I'm not going to show you in there because honestly, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Had it. Oh yeah, you can have a look. This is the gym. Oh my goodness, it feels honest. I can't even explain to you how spotless everything feels. Like I'm walking around with white socks on and there's nothing on the bottom of my feet. I can't believe my house. Oh my goodness, I get to move in. How am I gonna distract myself tomorrow? Like, oh my goodness, we're going to see Frozen tomorrow as a bit of a pre-move treat. This is my dressing room. You guys, honestly, this feels amazing. Another thing that I still have to do is my carpet runner up the stairs. I think that's getting fitted in the next couple weeks, actually. So, yeah, this is why this looks like this. But you know what? I'm kind of glad that I had the cleaners come before I did all of that because it's you know, has been completely deep cleaned, which is so good. And then we come into the main bedroom. Oh my goodness. I, oh my gosh, my ensuite. Oh, you guys, it literally, it's so nice that it doesn't feel like a building site anymore. I can't even explain to you how good this feels. These are um, Soho lighting. They are Soho lighting. I use Soho lighting as well. I'm, All of my I'm, sockets and switches are. Mine are too. Really? I, yeah, I think they're the most amazing lighting on you ever come across. You know what? I really struggled to find a colour of like the antique brass that I genuinely really loved and then found theirs and I was like, ooh, that kind of and fits. This is amazing as well. Yeah, I've had, I've had to send quite a few back and have different things and they do engraving now. So when you have, you know your switches with like dishwasher, fridge, things like that. Yeah, so I, I had all switches for those that weren't labeled and then they started doing engraving. I was like, oh, can I like exchange the engraved ones? And they're like, yeah, of course. And they did like swaps for me, which was really, really helpful. Amazing. Yeah, this is my ensuite. Oh, I was looking at those lights the other day. I need to get a mirror. mirror. I love that one. They're pukey. They're really nice. I was looking at, you know the Soho home mirror that's also on anthropology? I know, I'm thinking, but it doesn't have storage. I love that mine has storage, but I'm telling you, finding a mirrored cabinet with storage that's gold or brass is, is it difficult. Cool. I also don't think I'll keep much in here in terms of product. I think I'll literally just like brush my teeth in the bathroom. Yeah, product in the dressing room. Dressing room yeah. So I'm like, I would never do my skincare, I don't think, in. I think you might do before you go into bed some nights. But I have it on my bedside table. Oh. I do it in bed. Mm. Maybe I get the mirror, and if for some reason it doesn't work out for me, I can put it elsewhere because it is that nice. It doesn't look like a bathroom mirror. But we were doing <laughs> we were doing home hunting, weren't we? And we were trying to find dupes of things, and I think some of the suppliers that Soho Home and Anthropology use must be very similar. But you know, there's a price difference. You, you don't know who that is. Uh, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. The radiators are actually my favourite part. Like Aren't they radiators. gorgeous? I took so long sourcing those radiators and all the like hardware on them. I don't know if you can see this. Really sexy radiators. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Well, you know what? They're quite jarring in a room. And I was like, if I'm gonna have radiators, oh, the knobs on the door. 
Have you seen my story? Is your like suitcases? Yeah, my Christmas tree. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, I'm getting a real Christmas tree this year. Yes, you are. So I can't wait. Yes. But yeah, this is uh, feeling good. So let's take a look at the appliances. Now, this was so exciting to have cleaned. They just feel like real, working, usable things now. Oh my goodness, this is spotless. And if you haven't seen my videos or you've not been watching like the whole Renault journey from gosh, like a year ago, two years ago, this is actually secondhand and it looks brand new. I'm so happy with that. And we need to take a look in the range as well. Again, this is secondhand. Oh my goodness, it looks literally brand new. I can't even explain how perfect this feels. Oh my goodness. This was from a 25 million pound house. I'll link the video down below and I'll put it in a card right now. I, yeah, I have dreamed of having this range and they're so expensive that I wanted to source it just a more financially, you know, efficient way and managed to, but obviously it was used. But now it's been cleaned, it literally looks immaculate oh my goodness i also love the blue inside how fun is that i'm genuinely so over the moon with the standard of this clean there's no fingerprints anywhere there's no dust anywhere everything just feels brand new let's have a little nosy in the cupboard yeah everything is literally perfection these were dusty just like you know post install dust and things like that but they're literally oh my goodness they feel amazing <laughs> just want to get my things in here now. I really do need to make the decisions though on where I'm going to put things. Maybe I will pop in tomorrow and we'll do some kind of figuring out because it's like, which is going to be my cutlery drawer? Is it that one? Is it this one? Which is going to be the pan drawer? I mean, I know I keep saying this. I do think this is going to be my spot for my KitchenAid though. I do think it'll look really cute there, but I am going to admit I, I do want to get a new one. My black one is just the standard one. I've had it for, oh my goodness. Oh, maybe like eight, nine years and then i got the bigger version in the us and it's just so much better that i'm like ooh, i i might upgrade maybe i'll wait until christmas but yeah that would be the dream to have maybe a white one i don't know i need to have a look see what colors they have and have it in the corner there i've just ordered some dinner so i've got some hummus some rice some different meat and some flatbread to dip Good evening, everybody. My hair's looking a little crazy, but my dinner was so good. Em recommended a place for me, and it's a place that every time she's recommended it in the past, I've always gone, yeah, another time. And then I finally got it today, and it was really, really good. So I was very happy. I had hummus. Uh, I would say the flatbreads were the bit that I was a bit, like, unbothered. But the hummus was amazing. The meat was amazing. The rice, so good. Mm -hmm. I bet when that's like fresh now. Oh, you said about the prawns, didn't you? Yeah, I really want to try that. Maybe we do that ASAP actually, because that's, yeah, that sounds really good. But I have just been sat, actually we've been sat working in silence, not gonna lie. It's been one of those evenings, but yeah, I'm just like, over the moon it was one of those like very surreal moments earlier being at the house and realizing that actually soon that is my reality i yeah i mean i don't know how i'm going to sleep tomorrow night we have like a full day of things on tomorrow like real life things and the day is finishing with a lovely trip to the theater to see frozen so that's actually quite festive isn't it i was saying to um actually i've said to about six different people over the last two days that can you believe it's november next month like that just absolutely blows my mind but i'm here for it and you know what but i i'm gonna start getting festive at the start of november this year because why not i feel like december always goes so quickly uh that i want i want more december so i'm gonna do november too but i really hope you've enjoyed this vlog if you didn't catch it at the start i am doing a giveaway i'm giving something away in every single one of these vlogs this week so go and check out the giveaway it's a really good one today and of course there'll be another one tomorrow and yeah i will see you bright and early in the morning for another moving vlog Good night.